Okay, so this video wasn't made for um, because of the because of the rotations for tonight. Um, our stacking or um, switching positions and stuff like that. Um, it was, this was actually made maybe three four days ago uh, when I had the idea to uh, have something to visually show Josh for stacking uh, because it was one of the things that we came across when we had uh, a Brianna and Karen play uh, a week or two ago. Um, and it's something that he hasn't done before. And then um, this probably works well with uh, Taylor as well, um, because for the most part, when we have a middle, we have a girl in the middle uh, front. A lot of times, depending on whether or not they want to play that middle positions, um, most of the time we uh, we have them go out to the outside and have the have one of the guys go to towards the middle. And for tomorrow, when we play these, these are the players that we're gonna have for tomorrow: Brian, Karen and then us and so this is probably rotation six we've already rotated six times in order to get to this position and then we go back to the original uh first rotation when i go back to the right back to start setting from back there as of now david is left back this is his last rotation to set in the back row and so the idea is going to be uh he's going to push up josh so Josh does not pass the ball. Karen is going to move out to the left behind the 10 foot line and she's going to help pass. And which also means that it allows her to be out there ready for a four set. And I'll be on the right side ready for a five. Josh is just going to have to go back uh, to get ready for his approach for a two to hit in the middle. Um, so going back, this is the rotation. If you can see, Karen is going to go back over there. Uh, Dave is going to push up Josh. And the idea is that let's let's look at Josh. Josh cannot overlap to the right of Karen. He cannot go behind David. Um, Karen, for example, cannot go to the right of me, and Karen cannot be to the left of Josh. Uh, she cannot be to the behind Taylor. But when it comes to anyone diagonally, like Karen and David, it doesn't matter where the overlapping is. It doesn't matter if he's in front of her to the right of her, that stuff doesn't matter. It's only laterally left or right and forward and back uh, where you cannot overlap each other. So if you can see, David is not in front of Josh. So that's good. So that's that. this makes this a legal rotation, legal positioning on the court. And Karen is not to the left of Josh, uh, which makes it legal too. She's just, I mean, it's, it's kind of borderline. She's slightly to the right of Josh which uh, it's almost best for Josh to be as far left as he can to allow Karen to be uh, left as much as she can so that she can pass that, that side uh, in case someone serves down the line. Now, next thing is uh, I'm going to have them serve. So now they're serving. Josh is on his transition to go towards the middle back so that he can get ready into a position so that he can hit a two ball. Um, he's going to try not to pass. But the thing is, if someone serves and it serves really, really short and it lands right on, on him, yeah, take the ball. Take the ball and pass it over to Davis so David can set it up for all three of us to hit. But in this scenario, I'm going to have Brian pass. So Brian's going to pass. And then Josh is back in the middle back position so that he can uh, get that approach or behind the 10-foot line so that he can uh, get ready for approach for a two. Karen's out uh, on the flank over there to the left, and I'm on the right side. We are going to hit our fours and fives. Um, so now David gets the ball. He has the option to set Karen, Josh, or Min. And then uh, I'm going to have him set Karen. And then the second setting, I'm going to have him set Josh. And the second and the third one, I'm going to have him set uh, me. Uh, so you can see how this works. So now he's going to set Karen. Karen's going to go up to hit. Those blockers on the other side are blocking right there. And we are covering Karen's hit. That's how close we should get. So, I mean, if you watch like college level playing, they actually get closer than this. Now he's going to set Josh, all the blockers on the other side, uh, and we are covering all around him. And then he's going to set me, and we're covering my hit. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I can go back to bring it back to the beginning show the same thing so 
Original positions, this is position, this is rotation number six. This is stacking where Josh pushes up. Karen's gonna pass. She's ready for four. Josh is gonna transition to get back to a middle uh middle uh position where he's gonna get ready to hit. They serve, Josh is on his way back. Brian gets the pass. He's gonna pass it up to David. And now David can sit, uh, set to all three of us. Sets to Karen. Go back. He sets to Josh. Go back. And sets to me. Now if I go back to... Go back to here. So... We don't do this if you guys want to play one time. If you guys just want to play and then switch, then Karen would just be in the middle somewhere. Josh is going to pass on the left just behind the 10-foot line. He's going to we're going to play one time where the ball goes over the, that other side and then Josh and Karen can switch. Now, when in doubt, play once and then switch later. Switch after the ball goes over. If you are confused about stacking, just skip the stacking. Just go straight to play one time, but let, let the person know. Uh, Karen's very experienced for indoors, so she probably knows the stacking. There might be two ways to stack. It could be it could be a situation when, where Karen is where Josh is, and Josh is where Karen is. But the idea is that if Josh passes, he's going to go towards the middle, and Karen's just going to get back and hit that four. So it could be split up that way too, but this is probably the way that we would run it, this type of stacking. And it's whether or not you guys want to do the stacking. So whatever happened tonight, um, I know it kind of threw us a little bit off, but then again, tomorrow it's going to be, might be the same where Karen wants to stay back row for a bit and play uh, just back row for some games or whatever. And then uh, when she gets warmed up or whatever, she might rotate all around uh, normally. Uh, the idea is that if there's a girl in the middle and we're trying to get her to the outside, this is one way to do it for stacking.